What's up everybody, I hope you all are doing great and the topic of today's video is Flixier Video Editor Complete Tutorial for Beginners. So today we are going to speak about Flixier.com. This online software provides us the opportunity to edit videos online. So here we are on Flixier.com. As you can see, we can just simply click on Start Editing and we'll come to our editor. Basically, nothing hard. Uh, if you have an account, you'll come to this dashboard. If you don't have, you'll have to create. But basically, you can easily create an account with your Gmail. So here we are on our dashboard. From this page here, we can easily interact with our projects we have. So as you can see, I have like four projects here, one, two, three, four, and we can easily create one more project. So Flixier provides us the opportunity to um, edit videos for free, but we can also uh, try to buy the paid plans. But basically, uh, let's try to uh, find how does it look like as a for free version. And in the end of the video, we are going to discover the paid plan. So if you click on create project right up here, we'll come to this page where we need to choose the format, basically horizontal, like four to five, squared and vertical. It depends on video you're going to create. As for me, I'm going to use like horizontal format and the project name, let it be like project, uh, project one, doesn't matter. So let's click on create. And we'll come to our editor, as you can see, it looks like this, just a simple app, but it's online. So in the left side, we have a huge navigation with library, stock, audio, motion, text, subtitles, shapes and transitions. Basically, on library, we can easily interact with our files we imported to this project. So to import, we just simply need to click on import right up here. And as you can see, we have a bunch of options, so we can import from our device, from Google Drive, Google Photos. Moreover, we can even use like links, so you can copy like YouTube link and then just import videos right up here. So nothing hard. Let's try to browse something from our computer. I'm going to use something from my desktop, for example, two of these videos right up here. And it may take a little time until everything will be like uploaded. So all we need to do is just to wait. Uh, basically, this is the first uh, folder. We can switch between different types of media, videos, audios, images. So maybe it will be easier if you have a lot of uh, different stuff you're going to interact with. On this talk, we can easily find different videos, images or GIFs. Depends on your like aims. So we can input something in a search bar. For example, let it be AI maybe. And let's try to find something maybe suitable as for us. Will it find? Basically, the search is working, but sometimes it doesn't work that correct. So as you can see now, I'm trying to click, but nothing works. So um, also, it, that's cool that we have this option, but it doesn't work that correct. On the audio, we can find a huge amount of different um, music and sound effects. Also, we can switch between music, sound effects. Uh, we can try to find something through search. So sometimes it could be really, really helpful. On the motion, we can find different templates as for the text, for example, how does it appear on our screen and so on. It's also a pretty helpful feature if you know how to, um, you know, embed it into your video. In the text area, we can find a lot of text templates we can easily use. And there are a lot of also like customized with different colors, different shapes and so on. On the subtitles area, we have the option to use subtitles to create manual subtitle or upload a subtitle file. So sometimes it could be also really helpful. In the shapes area with different shapes, we can easily interact with. And the same with transition, if you're going to make some transitions between our videos. So this is the way of how can we do this. In the central part, we have a huge player a window where we can discover how does our project look like and in the right side there is like different properties so now we have like settings of our project we, we can find the resolution size background color by the way we can easily change it and also we have like some other features so let's try to add some videos so basically we need to put them on our timeline which is like in the bottom of the screen uh, so all we need to do is just to drag and drop it right up here. And as you can see, now we successfully added our video. In order to interact with our video, we also have uh, some features. So if you'll click on our video here or our timeline, we can find all the properties in the right side. We can also resize it by simply drag and drop on the corner. So now it looks like this. So 
we can move our like pointer to the necessary position to view how will it look like. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going firstly to uh, zoom out our timeline to view to maybe uh, you know to copy to crop the video. So all we need to do is just to drag and drop it with our like through the corner. So this is the way. And in this case, we can easily also cut. If you'll click on this instrument here, it will divide our video into two different parts. So now we can easily delete. So this is a way of how can we interact with our video. In the right side, we can find also a lot of different stuff. Change the position, scale, generate auto subtitles, crop, add animation, change video speed, add some effects, for example, like hexagon or some other stuff. Uh, we can also use like green screen from this page here. And in this case, every single element, video, audio, images uh, could be like changed through these um, properties window. This is the most important thing basically you need to know um, while watching this video. So let's try to add also this video here. And now we have like two videos which are going one after one. I'm also going to resize it. And as you can see now, it looks like this. Yeah, so I want to add a transition. So I'm going to use uh, going to transition area, I'm going to use blur, and I'm going to drag and drop it right up here. So now let's try to view how will it look like. So basically, it, it doesn't look as I wanted to uh, show you. So let's try to undo our action here in the left top corner. And we are going to use something here. So in order to add the animation, basically, uh, we need to find something here I go to animation I think and then just try to use custom or light left title so let's try to view yes and as you can see now it looks like this so not that huge animation but still it's right up here let's also try to add some text I'm going to text area I'm going to click and then it was successful edit so now I'm going to change the text let it be like good weather something like this so in order to interact with text, we can easily change the position, change the duration right up here. And also in the right side, there is a lot of different properties we can easily use. So I'm going to change the text color and the highlight it with, the, with black. So when everything is done, we can just simply click on export and then just click on export and download. And video export started. Now all we need to do is just to wait until everything is done. And if you are going to discover the paid plans, we can see that we have like two paid plans and one for free. Uh, here we can, for free, we can easily export 10 minutes of videos a month. Export in the 720p uh, quality. Also we have like two gigabytes of cloud storage and unlimited collaborators. And for the pro, limits are much, much higher. So this is a way of how can we use Flixir.com online video editor. Hope this video helped you out. Please leave a like. Comment and subscribe. I wish you a very good day. Goodbye.